And the California Farm Bureau says that California is progressing toward its goal of achieving 100 percent renewable and carbon neutral electricity by 2045. And agriculture may be an essential part of the solution. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk joins us to explain how a new project is in the works to help produce renewable energy and reduce water evaporation in our area. Brianna. That's right, Brianna. Well, Project Nexus is a pilot project that is going to serve as a proof of concept from research done by UC Merced. The project looks to provide water supply savings and generate renewable energy by placing solar panels just like these here over 250 miles of canals within the San Joaquin Valley. We're uh, excited this fall to really pilot uh, the first in the nation uh, concept of covering our some of our irrigation canals with solar panels and really uh, studying if what the paper said is true and what are the benefits. Josh Weimer, external affairs manager for Turlock Irrigation District, says that the solar panels will serve as a canopy covering over the canals and will also provide a wind block, which Weimer says wind heavily impacts evaporation and could potentially save 63 billion gallons of water. He adds that one of the benefits of this project is being able to use land that they already own. Land is incredibly expensive. And so if we were wanting to go out and build a utility scale solar farm, uh, we would be spending the millions of dollars on the land. Uh, and we'd also be taking out productive ag land, which is not something that we want to do. The first ever pilot project is happening over two different site locations so that they are able to keep track of results for two different types of canals. They're all different shapes and sizes and the, the way they're constructed are different. One is a 25 foot uh, wide span canal and then the other is 110 feet wide so we're going to be piloting two different concepts two different ways to span and mount uh, over such a large distance and while roadblocks may occur during the developmental stages of this project weimer says that water quality improvement and renewable energy is super beneficial to our community and that is why they are determined to work through any challenges that they may face we should work through all the design uh, constraints and you know the changes to how we maintain our canal system with now solar panels over it. Uh, we're, we're just excited to see if this concept can actually uh, make sense in the real world. And Weimer says that they are currently in the full design and contracting process of the project and are finalizing what the design systems are going to look like for the solar panels. They plan to officially launch the project this fall. In studio, Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.